Norfolk, Virginia presents its annual March of Dimes boxing show, and it's a honey. Kenny Lane of Muskegon, Michigan, the second-ranking lightweight contender, meets Frankie Riff of New York City. Riff, weighing 139 pounds and wearing the white trunks, lost a unanimous decision to Lane in Florida last November. Tonight, he wants revenge. But Lane, at 139 and a half pounds, has his eye on the title. Near the end of round two, Lane scores with several hard lefts to the head. Kenny's a natural right-hander, but adopted the port side style early in his career. Action is hot and heavy in round three as both stand toe to toe. Lane's right jabs and solid straight lefts open a slight cut on the left brow of Rip. Frankie's been a bleeder during his 25 bout career and any cut is dangerous for him. Realizing the jig may be up, Riff unloads with all the power at his command as the third round draws to a close. Lane in the dark trunks continues to pile up the points in the fourth round. The Michigan battler aims for the body, then when Riff covers up, he zeroes in on that injured brow. The question now is whether Riff's cornermen can keep the cut from getting worse. Riff's a dead game battler. He comes out for the fifth as though he had a new lease on life. Now it's Riff scoring the points. The packed house is amazed by Riff's comeback and Lane's just as puzzled. The unranked New Yorker gives the second rated Lane a boxing lesson for the remainder of the round, but his eye is opened again by a stiff Lane left. Dr. Ira Hancock examines the wound at the end of the fifth. He advises referee Patty Mills to stop the bout if the cut opens again. After only 32 seconds of the sixth round, referee Mills stops the bout. Kenny Lane registers his 11th straight victory on a technical knockout over Frankie Riff. Kenny wants a title fight in the near future, and the way he's going, he may get it. Kenny Lane, the number one contender for the lightweight championship, who was bypassed in favor of Orlando Zulueta for a shot at the title, pits his southpaw shots against Henry Toothpick Brown at the Detroit Olympia. Unranked Toothpick Brown in the dark trunks has everything to gain in this 10-rounder with Lane. The fancy Philadelphia in his game, but he's going to need more than that to combat the boxing talents of Kenny Lane. Lane in the white trunks is as smooth a boxer as you'll find today. The southpaw hooks and jabs beautifully with his right hand and is always setting up his opponent for his dangerous left. In the third round, it's obvious that Toothpick Brown is overmatched. Kenny Lane in the white trunks has not tasted defeat for almost two years, and the Muskegon, Michigan boxing master is improving all the time. Lane has had two fights this year, and both his opponents have wound up with their backs on the canvas. Lane likes to plant his feet firmly and mix his attack to the body and head. Kenny is giving Brown a boxing lesson as he batters the toothpick around the ring with a series of hard smashes. Toothpick Brown in the dark trunks is puzzled and is having trouble solving Lane's style. Brown can't set himself against the southpaw stance of Lane and he's leaving himself wide open for the right and left hand leads. Henry's giving all his effort, but it seems wasted as Lane gives a masterful boxing demonstration. Lane reminds the Motor City fans of a former local southpaw favorite, Chuck Davey. 
The only difference is that Kenny stands flat-footed and trades punch for punch. The port side swinger has beaten everybody in the division, including Orlando Zulueta, who will fight lightweight champion Joey Brown for the title. The Lightning Lane looks like he's ready to strike in round six. And strike he does with a couple of beauties that land flush on Brown's jaw. The toothpick is cracking under the heavy pressure applied by Lane. Brown's legs are plenty wobbly as Kenny bombs him with rights and lefts. Brown goes down, but the referee rolls it a slip and the actions resume. Lane knows it's now or never and keeps dishing out the punishment, trying for the KO. Toothpick is tired and hurt, and he holds on. The referee breaks the clinch, and Brown wishes he hadn't, as Lane puts across the finisher. Toothpick is down and out. The referee could count forever. Toothpick Brown is in the deep freeze. The count goes to 10, and it's a sixth round, one minute, 14 second knockout victory for Kenny Lane. The lightweight Turr has to wait his chance at the championship, but until he gets it, Kenny Lane keeps knocking off everything that comes his way. Even though Ludwig Lightburn is pegged three notches lower than Kenny Lane in the lightweight ratings, the British Honduras Flash is a solid two-to-one choice to solve Lane's pesky southpaw style. <laughs> Round one with Kenny Lane in the dark trunks. The principals in this 10-rounder are launching Miami's new Biscayne Arena with an action-packed battle. Kenny Lane is currently riding high with a winning streak of eight straight. Lane is keeping his right hand in Lightburn's face. The blows, although not damaging, are piling up points, and Lightburn is trying to figure out a defense. The speedier and flashier Lightburn in the white trunk steps up the pace. Ludwig rules over all lightweights in his home country, British Honduras, but in Miami, he's being battled on even terms by Kenny Lane. Lane in the dark trunks feels that his southpaw style gives him an advantage in all of his fights. Kenny is making good use of his edge, but Lightburn flares back with some good punches to the body and head. Both pugilists use crowding tactics late in the round. Kenny is scoring with his swarming two-handed attack while Lightburn catches the judge's eyes with his long lefts and rights to the head and sharp punching to the midsection. Lightburn in the white trunks is at his wit's end trying to catch and solve Lane. Ludwig is down, but the referee rolls a slip and wipes his gloves. The 24-year-old Lane, who hails from Muskegon, Michigan, has been fighting professionally for four years and has a 43 and five record. His biggest conquest to date came when he defeated the sensational KO specialist, Larry Boardman. <laughs> Kenny is making Lightburn look mighty ridiculous as a sharpshooter. Lane is constantly on the go and Ludwig can't seem to hit the bullseye. Whereas Kenny is tattooing Lightburn with both hands. Tenth and final round. Lightburn is out to save embarrassment from the lacing he has been taking, but Lane keeps both his hands and body moving at all times. The only hope for a Lightburn victory is a KO, but it doesn't appear that Ludwig will land the haymaker on the smart lane. Lightburn rallies late in the fight, but as is often the case, too late. Lane's impregnable defense and slapping offense have clinched the bout. The judging is unanimous for Kenny Lane. Lane doesn't hit hard, but his southpaw style will prove very annoying to future lightweight opponents.
The two best lightweight boxers in the business are set to trade leather before a standing room only crowd at the Houston, Texas Coliseum. Busy champion Joe Brown defending his title for the third time within eight months faces Kenny Lane, the number one contender. Forcing the action, Kenny Lane in the black trunks nails Brown flush on the jaw as he makes his bid to become the first Southpaw lightweight champion in ring history. So far, the sellout crowd of 11,000 fans for this 15-round championship bout has been treated to a boxing gem. Lane's defensive moves have kept Joe Brown in white trunks on the receiving end of some solid punches. Southpaw challenger Kenny Lane, sparring well with the champion, has never been knocked off his feet. On the other hand, Brown, in white trunks, has had five previous fights with left-handed sluggers and knocked them all out. In the 10th, Brown's combination of left uppercuts followed by right crosses to the head are finally finding their mark. However, Lane has been able to weather any momentary flurry by the champion. Joe, who has won his last 17 encounters, has run up against a human buzzsaw in Kenny Lane. The persistent Lane, who has compiled a string of 19 victories, is proving to be a tough customer. Kenny has pressed Brown from the opening bell with his jabbing attack and telling left to the body and head. Round 12, and for Lane in black, it'll be the first time he has gone beyond the 10th round. The 26-year-old underdog from Muskegon, Michigan, shows no signs of tiring as the bruising struggle moves along. In the final round, the seesaw battle levels off as Joe Brown in white trunks lands some heavy smashes to the head of Lane. Kenny only occasionally now fires back with that awkward left wing, and Joe Brown lands the more damaging blows. Lane is definitely in trouble as Brown comes down to a thundering finish here in round 15. Those staggering left hooks and right uppercuts to the head of Lane have really hurt the challenger as the bell sounds ending the fight. Joe Brown wraps up his fifth successful defense of his lightweight crown with a unanimous 15-round decision over Kenny Lane.
jump like that. Up, up, up. 